To select and open a train player layout, use the Open Layout button on the main toolbar. Navigate to the layout required, and click OK. You can also open additional layouts from the Open Layout dialog. To return to a layout that you have used recently, go to the most recently used files list at the bottom of the file menu. With several layouts open, you can quickly switch between them using the tabbed interface on the title bar. The quick access toolbar can be found at the extreme top left of your display. The quad is intended for accessing common tools, such as cut, copy, paste, and save. This toolbar is fully customizable, and our example shows that four additional tools have been added. The Windows menu will be familiar to all users. If you are hunting for a particular tool, then the best place to start would probably be the Tools menu. The main toolbar provides access to the Open Layout dialog, the View toolbar, Pause dialog, Auto Follow button, Script and Ops toolbars plus the Train Toolbar, and the Paint Shop Dialog. The Build Toolbar, which is only available with Track Layer, contains all the track laying tools, and serves as a gateway to the Scenery Toolbar. These tools are demonstrated separately in our Track Laying and Scenery videos. The View Toolbar allows you to select which objects to include, or omit from the display. You can even hide the trains to work on the underlying track. The Scripts button on the main toolbar opens the Script toolbar. For detailed documentation about scripting, please refer to the scripting pages of the Train Player website, or consult the Help file. Click on the Ops button to open the Ops toolbar, by default this automatically closes the Scripts toolbar. You can find links to comprehensive documentation about designing and running advanced ops layouts on our website. The Paint Shop dialog can be used for customizing selected cars, this feature is the subject of a separate video. To understand Auto Follow, first switch off the Auto Follow feature, then use the control panel to start the selected train. As the train exits the display, reselect Auto Follow. This switches the focus to the lead car, and causes the background to scroll, keeping the lead car within the display frame. Use the pause button to freeze all layout action. This can be useful if you are disturbed by an incoming telephone call. When you are ready to continue, click OK in the pause dialog.